Hello everyone, so here's a video of Doodle World and I'm mainly going to talk about how to misprint hunt about the chaining, the odds and stuff like that and how it will help you how to keep your chain going and how not to break it and what will break it what I know so far and I haven't even finished the story yet but before we get going, I am Gore Punky at the Goriest Punk YouTube channel if you are new, smash that sub button under the video I'm recording this in a live stream um, if you are new, do follow me at my Twitch and Twitter, and thumbs up or thumbs down, either way guys, thank you for stopping by, but yes, we're going to talk about misprint hunting. So yes, for misprint hunting, um, it's just pretty much a different color of a doodle. And there is a lot of other stuff that could help you, like you could use boost, which is very expensive on here. 30 minutes of boost is pretty much $10, which to me, eh, only two times it. That's a lot of money. And also there is a um, misprint trinket which doubles the chance of what? Two times it? For $10. So you can do that to help you out a lot more. But I don't like buying any pass that's not probably $5 or under. But yes, yeah, so we're going to get talking about the chaining thing. So the uh, misprint system. The um, base misprint chance is 1 out of 4,000. So yes, 1 out of 4,000. If you have the trinket, it's 1 out of 2,000. Chaining increases the number for every 10. So a 10 chain, 10 encounters of you doing that will be plus 1. If you did a 20 chain, it will equal plus 2. 100 chain plus 10. So example, if you do have the trinket, it would be 1 out of 2,000. And then 100 chain, once you get 100 chains of that, it will make it 11 out of 2,000. Without the trinket, that would be 4,000. So if you got 100 chains, exactly 100, it would be 11 out of 4,000. Encounter that you could get the misprint. But yes, to um, the chain, if you don't know what chain means, it means uh, you got to keep on killing that same doodle over and over and over. Don't run from it. Don't kill anything else. Just um, kill that same doodle over and over. So for the chain hunt, you literally got to run from everything else. So if you're hunting bun sweet, only kill bun sweet. If you run from bun sweet, it will not break your chain. Your chain number will stay the same. There is something you can get for a quest near the end of this story where we're in so far, which will give you a tally ticker to let you know what chain you're on. Which I don't got that yet, because I haven't finished the story. Where was I at? But yes, like in Bun Suite, to um, break the chain, you either would have to kill another doodle. So like if something spawns that wasn't Bun Suite and you killed it, you just pop, you just broke the chain. But yes. Um, you got to keep on fighting that same doodle over and over and over until the misprint spawns or a, a tint color spawns which works the same way for tints which is just a, a whole different color if you accidentally run from the doodle that you're trying to chain it won't break your chain if you leave that area the root it will not break your chain so if you go where I'm at right now to heal it will not break your chain if you accidentally leave the whole game, hit exit, or your internet kicks you off, it will not break your chain. And that's all I really know so far at all about really chain hunting and what to do. I just kept on seeing people telling me that there wasn't enough information, and I did watch a video or two, and it, pretty much what I'm saying right now, but it seems like I didn't hear them say uh, about leaving the roots leaving your game, going to heal, and stuff like that. And also, um, chaining did get updated, uh, I don't know, today, yesterday, or something, that um, chaining now increases your chance to get higher star doodles. So if you're at a 75 chain or higher, you will encounter um, four stars. If you're 50 chain or higher, you encounter three stars. And if you're at 25 chain or higher, you encounter two stars. If you do tasks for the doodles, the whole evolution line though, 
it will up your misprint, make it easier for you to find misprints, tents, and hidden traits, or um, the stars. So to do that whole thing, it would be like, you know, like nibbling. Do all tasks for nibbling. Then it's evolution. Do all tasks for its evolution. And then whatever its third evolution is, do all the tasks for that. The whole evolution line. Then that will help you have an easier chance to find misprints, tents, um, stars, and hidden traits. If you are chaining them. Like I said. But yes, that is how you, that's how I know how you do chaining for misprint hunting, tent hunting, stars pretty much. But yeah, once again, just full odds, free to play. I don't, I, ha I have no passes. I don't use any boost in here. The odds would be, uh, the base odds, one out of 4,000. So, for example, um, it's one out of 4,000 if you get 100 chains. So if, you, if you're... If you have the ticker and it says you're at 100 chain or if you've been counting in your head or writing it down once you get 100 chain it will make it 11 out of 4,000 that could be a set of one out of 4,000 chance to encounter it well that's all I'm, I'm really gonna say but yes that's how you I know misprint hunting and chains and stuff like that that's the information I know stuff could change every update we don't know stuff could be harder or easier but yes I am Gore Punk you're at the Gorious Punk YouTube channel if you are new do smash that sub button if you like and go follow me at my twitch and twitter at Gorious Punk and thumbs up or thumbs down either way guys thank you for stopping by and there's one of my mods Astro it looks like she was falling in midair but peace out everyone peace out and this was from a live stream and once again, everyone, you probably see my viewers talking in chat in the bottom right and my mods. But yes, thank the Splatterpunks for being here.